Have you ever wondered what happened to every first overall pick from the 2010s? Sure, a lot of the talent taken during that decade are still tearing up the league and making NHL history, but some of these first overall picks could not live up to the hype, and one of them may even be the biggest bust in NHL history. I'll let you be the judge of that as we take a look at what happened to every first overall pick from the 2010s. 2010. The Edmonton Oilers select Taylor Hall. The first team to benefit from the scoring and playmaking skills of Taylor Hall was Windsor of the OHL, which went on to win the Memorial Cup championships in 2009 and 2010 with Hall on their team, and in those same years, Hall also earned MVP honors in each of those tournaments. Hall made the jump to the NHL for the 2010-2011 season after he was chosen by the Edmonton Oilers with the number one pick in the 2010 NHL draft. Hall was credited with his first point, an assist in his second game with the Oilers. He scored his first goal against Steve Mason of the Columbus Blue Jackets on October 28, 2010, and went on to finish ninth in balloting for the Calder Trophy. Taylor Hall is one of the few players who can say he's broken scoring records once held by Wayne Gretzky. The first to fall was Gretzky's Edmonton Oilers record for the fastest hat trick from the start of the game. Taylor Hall broke that mark when he scored a natural hat trick in the first 7 minutes and 53 seconds of a 4 0 win against the Vancouver Canucks on March 30th, 2013. He broke a second one for the fastest back to back goals in Oilers history by one second. Hall scored twice in 8 seconds during the second period of a 3-2 loss to the New York Islanders on October 17, 2013. The rest of Gretzky's Oiler records became a little safer, at least from Hall, on June 29, 2016 when the Oilers traded Taylor Hall to the New Jersey Devils for defenseman Adam Larson. That deal brought to New Jersey one of the best young forwards in the NHL, a player who ranked in the top three on his team in scoring in five of his first six seasons and finished among the league's top 10 scorers twice in his first four seasons. Taylor Hall had a breakout season with the Devils in the 2017-2018 season, finishing with NHL career highs in goals with 39, assists with 54, and points with 93. He helped the Devils qualify for the Stanley Cup playoffs for the first time since 2012 and won the Hart Trophy voted as the most valuable player. Taylor Hall was named the Devils alternate captain prior to the 2018-2019 season, but he had arthroscopic surgery on his left knee in February and missed the rest of the regular season. After playing 35 games for the Devils in 2019-2020, Hall was traded to the Arizona Coyotes for three prospects and two draft picks on December 16th. Hall then signed a one-year contract with the Buffalo Sabres on October 11th, 2020, and then was traded to the Boston Bruins on April 11th, 2021. In lieu of free agency, Hall agreed to a four-year contract with Boston on July 23rd, 2021. He had three assists in a 5-1 win against the Colorado Avalanche on February 21st, 2022 to give him 50 points in 66 games for the Bruins, which tied Brad Boys for the fourth fewest needed by a Boston player in the past 20 years to reach that mark, putting Hall behind Mark Savard who did it in 39 games, Bill Guerin who did it in 54, and Jerome McGinley who did it in 65. The Bruins traded Hall to the Chicago Blackhawks on June 26, 2023. 2011, the Edmonton Oilers select Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Ryan Nugent Hopkins was the number one pick in the Western Hockey League Bantam Draft in 2008 and soon emerged as an elite scorer for Red Deer. He had 31 goals and 106 points in the 2010-2011 season and then was selected by the Edmonton Oilers with the number one pick in the 2011 NHL Draft. As an NHL rookie, Ryan Nugent Hopkins had 52 points in 62 games played. He finished second to the Colorado Avalanche forward Gabriel Landeskog in voting for the Calder Trophy. Ryan Nugent Hopkins played half the lockout shortened 2012-2013 season with Oklahoma City, Edmonton's AHL affiliate, then joined Canada's national junior team which named him captain. Though Canada finished fourth at the 2013 World Junior Championship, Ryan Nugent Hopkins was named the tournament's best forward. On April 23, 2013, Nugent Hopkins had shoulder surgery which ended his season five games early. He agreed to a seven-year contract with the Oilers on September 19th and played in the 2015 Honda NHL All-Star Game before finishing the season with 56 points. Shortly after returning from a rib injury March 3, 2018, Nugent Hopkins was shifted from center to left wing on a line with Connor McDavid. He was nominated for the King Clancy Memorial Trophy, awarded to the player who best exemplified 
exemplifies leadership qualities on and off the ice and has made a noteworthy humanitarian contribution in his community. Nugent Hopkins reached 100 points for the first time in his NHL career during Edmonton's 3-1 win against the Anaheim Ducks on April 5, 2023. Nugent Hopkins, McDavid, and Leon Dreisaitl made the Oilers the first NHL team since the 1995-96 Pittsburgh Penguins with three players to accomplish this feat in the same season. Nugent Hopkins was also the sixth player in NHL history to get his first 100-point season in his 12th season or later. Nugent Hopkins and Tampa Bay Lightning captain Steven Stamkos were the only ones to achieve this feat in 50 years. 2012, the Edmonton Oilers select Nail Yakupov. Leading into the 2012 NHL entry draft, all eyes were on the potential generational talent, Russian forward Nail Yakupov. Yakupov played the 2010, 2011, and 2011, 2012 seasons with the Sarnia Sting in the OHL and earned himself a reputation as a lethal offensive forward who was expected to produce an insane amount of points with whichever team earned the opportunity to select them first overall. Unfortunately, the NHL was headed for a lockout during the 2012, 2013 year, so he wouldn't be able to showcase his skills in his first season. The Edmonton Oilers finished second to last in the NHL in Yakupov's draft year with 27 wins, 47 losses, and 8 overtime losses, and earned the first overall draft pick. The Oilers were in the midst of one of their worst stretches in franchise history and were hoping Yakupov was going to be the player to help put the finishing touch on their team that they've been trying to fix for multiple seasons. After drafting Taylor Hall and then Ryan Nugent Hopkins, this was their third straight first overall pick and should have pushed the team over the edge and back into being a contender in the league. As expected, the NHL went into a lockout, but luckily it only lasted half a season and the league ended up playing a 48 game season. During that lockout, Lockout season, which was Yakupov's first, he scored 17 goals and 14 assists for 31 points through 48 games and finished first on the team in goals and fourth in points. Yakupov played decent during the 2013-2014 season, scoring 11 goals, adding 13 assists for 24 points through 63 games played. While it was a step back from his rookie season, he was still getting used to the NHL and so many fans were patient as were the Oilers. In the 2014-2015 season, Yakupov scored 14 goals and added 19 assists for 33 points through 81 games. Unfortunately for him, this was the season many fans began to turn on him and stop defending him. They were expecting a lot more out of him and could not wait any longer for him to have a breakout season. His defensive play wasn't good either, so he entered the 2015-2016 season on a very short leash. Yakupov Yakupov's play began to regress, and his performance during the 2015-2016 season sealed his fate with the Oilers. His defensive play continued to get lazier, and he only scored 8 goals and added 15 assists for 23 points through 60 games. The Oilers ended up deciding to trade him to the St. Louis Blues, where he played the 2016-2017 season. In his only season with the Blues, he scored 3 goals and added 6 assists for 9 points through 40 games, and was not re-signed when the season concluded. Yakupov then signed a 1-year deal with the Colorado Avalanche during the 2017-2018 season, where he scored 9 goals and added 7 assists for 16 points through 58 games played. This was Yakupov's final season in the NHL, and he was commonly viewed over the next few seasons as one of the biggest draft busts in NHL history. Yakupov finished his underwhelming NHL career with 62 goals, 74 assists for 136 points through 350 games played, which comes out to a 0.39 point per game average. 2013, the Colorado Avalanche select Nathan McKinnon. Nathan McKinnon made his NHL debut with the Colorado Avalanche on October 2nd, 2013, and at 18 years and 31 days old, he was the youngest player in franchise history. His two assists sparked Colorado to a 6-1 win against the Anaheim Ducks. At the conclusion of his first season, McKinnon led all rookies in assists with 39 and points with 63 and was tied for the most goals with 24. He was an easy winner for the Calder Trophy and set a record as the youngest player to win the award. McKinnon enjoyed an equally successful postseason. His three assists in Game 1 of Colorado's first round Stanley Cup playoff series against the Minnesota Wild made him the first rookie to have three points in a postseason debut. 
Nathan McKinnon had a breakout season in the 2017-2018 season, finishing fifth in the league with 97 points through 74 games. He was a finalist for the Hart Trophy given to the NHL's most valuable player. McKinnon helped the Colorado Avalanche return to the Stanley Cup playoffs after the team finished last in the NHL in the 2016-2017 season, then had six points in six games against the Nashville Predators in the Western Conference first round. In the 2019-2020 season, Nathan McKinnon finished fifth in the NHL with 93 points in 69 games and won the Lady Bing Award given to the player who best combines sportsmanship and ability. He also scored 25 points in 15 games played during the Stanley Cup playoffs and was leading all players in the postseason scoring when the Avalanche were eliminated in Game 7 of the Western Conference second round. Nathan McKinnon's 13 goals in the 2022 Stanley Cup playoffs shared the NHL lead with Evander Kane of the Edmonton Oilers. He was the third player in the Avalanche Quebec Nordique history with as many in a single postseason joining Joe Sakic in 1996 and 2001 and Claude Lemieux in 1997. McKinnon opened the playoffs with a four-game goal streak and had a hat-trick in Game 5 of the Western Conference second round. He scored five goals from the Western Conference Final to the Stanley Cup Final. Four of those were either tying or go-ahead goals, helping the Avalanche win the Stanley Cup. Fast forward to 2023, Nathan McKinnon got his 700th NHL point in Colorado's 3-2 win against the Washington Capitals on January 24, 2023. He earned his 100th playoff point with an assist in Game 7 of the 2023 Western Conference first round in a 2-1 overtime loss to the Seattle Kraken that ended the Avalanche's reign as Stanley Cup champions. 2014, the Florida Panthers select Aaron Ekblad. After a six-week review of his application, Hockey Canada gave Ekblad exceptional player status, making him eligible for the OHL 2011 priority selection at age 15. He was the first defenseman ever granted such status, and Ekblad was then chosen first overall by the Barry Colts. Three years later, he was chosen number one by the Panthers in the 2014 NHL Draft. Ekblad then made his NHL debut October 9th, 2014, which was the first of 81 games that he would play that season and had an assist in the 3-2 overtime loss to the Tampa Bay Lightning. He finished with 39 points, the third among rookie defensemen who began their NHL career at 18. Ekblad, the Windsor, Ontario native, also set Panthers records for points, goals, and assists by a rookie defenseman at the age of 18, and at 18 years, 267 days old, became the youngest Panthers defenseman to score a goal, which came on a power play in a 2-1 win against the Philadelphia Flyers on November 1st, 2014. Ekblad agreed to an eight-year contract with the Panthers on July 2nd, 2016, and was named the alternate captain. He became the 15th NHL defenseman to score double-digit goals in each of his first four seasons. He had surgery to repair a fracture in his lower extremities, sustained against the Dallas Stars on March 28th, 2021, that kept him out for the rest of the season, which included the the Stanley Cup playoffs. Ekblad became Florida's point leader among defensemen when he passed Robert Svehala with three assists in the 5-3 loss to the Vegas Golden Knights on March 17, 2022. He became the first defenseman and 12th skater in Panthers history to score 100 goals in a 5-2 win against the Bruins on November 23rd. He did it in his 563rd game. Only one active NHL defenseman reached 100 in fewer games, and that player is Eric Carlson, who did it in 477. Ekblad had one assist in a 4-3 overtime loss to the Edmonton Oilers on November 29th to become the first Florida defenseman to reach 300 points in the NHL. 2015, the Edmonton Oilers select Connor McDavid. Before making his NHL debut, McDavid won the OHL and Canadian Hockey League Player of the Year honors in the 2014-2015 season, which was his final season with Erie, when he scored 44 goals and 120 points and had the OHL's best plus minus with plus 60. He also won a second straight Bobby Smith Trophy as the OHL's top scholastic player. As an OHL rookie in the 2013-2014 season, McDavid won the William Hanley Trophy as the league's most sportsmanlike player. McDavid went on to dazzle scouts with extraordinary acceleration and high-end speed, uncanny on-ice vision, and a seemingly endless array of moves. It was a given that the Edmonton Oilers would select him number one in the 2015 NHL Draft. If it's possible for a teenage phenom to exceed the hype, then that's what Connor McDavid did in his rookie NHL season with the Edmonton Oilers. In his rookie season, Connor McDavid missed 37 games because of a fractured clavicle, but still managed to score 48 points in 45 games played. 
Even in an abbreviated rookie season, McDavid provided plenty of highlights. At the top of that list would be his five-point game on February 11th, 2016 in his first time facing his hometown, the Toronto Maple Leafs. He had two goals and assisted on each of Jordan Eberle's three goals in the Oilers' 5-2 victory. This small sample size knocked him down to third in voting for the Calder Trophy. McDavid took his game to another level in the 2016-2017 season. He led the league with 100 points for 30 goals and 70 assists, winning the Hart Trophy as the NHL's most valuable player and the Ted Lindsay Award as the most outstanding player as voted by members of the NHL Players Association to help the Oilers reach the Stanley Cup playoffs for the first time since 2006. McDavid signed an 8-year $100 million contract extension with the Oilers on July 5, 2017 and repeated as the NHL scoring champion in the 2017-2018 season, scoring 100 108 points for 41 goals and 67 assists in 82 games, while also winning the Ted Lindsay Award for the second straight season. However, he did not win a third straight scoring title in the 2018-2019 season, but had an NHL career high of 116 points and finished third in Hart Trophy voting. In the abbreviated 2020-2021 season, McDavid torched the NHL, leading the league with 105 points in 56 games. He averaged 1.88 points per game, which was the most by any player to play at least 50 games in a season since Mario Lemieux and Yaramir Yager in the 1995-96 season. McDavid scored at least one point in 45 of 56 games, including 18 with at least three points. Connor McDavid was voted the winner of the Ted Lindsay Award for the third time and became the second ever unanimous winner of the Hart Trophy, getting all 100 first place votes from members of the Professional Hockey Writers Association. The only other unanimous winner was Wayne Gretzky in the 1981-82 season. On November 14th, 2021, McDavid became the sixth fastest in NHL history to score 600 points when he put up a goal and an assist in a 5-4 win against the St. Louis Blues. Only Gretzky Mario Lemieux, Peter Stastny, Mike Bossy, and Yari Curry took fewer games than McDavid to reach this milestone. McDavid scored 123 points in the 2021-22 season, the highest single-season point total by any Edmonton skater since Marc Messier in 1989. McDavid became the seventh player in NHL history to win the Art Ross Trophy at least four times. McDavid had a goal and an assist in his 500th NHL game. His 724 points were the second most through 500 games among players who were selected number one in the NHL draft, sitting behind Mario Lemieux. McDavid scored his 300th NHL goal in a 2-0 win against the Los Angeles Kings on March 30th, becoming the fifth player in NHL history to score 300 goals and have 500 assists prior to playing 600 NHL games. 2016, the Toronto Maple Leafs select Austin Matthews. Now, who would have thought that a player raised in Scottsdale, Arizona would end up being the number one pick in the 2016 NHL Draft? Austin Matthews was the first United States-born player to be chosen number one since the Chicago Blackhawks took Patrick Kane with the first pick in the 2007 NHL Draft. Matthews was an all-around athlete who chose to focus on hockey as an adolescent, and he excelled at every level of the game on his unique path to the NHL. With USA Hockey's National Team Development Program in the 2014-2015 season, Matthews set United States under-18 team records for a single season for 55 goals and 117 points. The performance was a springboard not to major junior or college hockey, but to a one-and-done NHL prep season in Switzerland. Playing in National League A, the top Swiss pro league, the 18-year-old center had 24 goals and 46 points in 36 games played. He then played for the United States at the 2016 Junior World Championship, where he tied for the tournament lead with seven goals and helped the U.S. win a bronze medal, and then playing in the 2016 World Championship, where he led the U.S. with six goals and tied for the lead in points with nine. Mark Crawford, who was Matthews' coach in Switzerland and is a 15-year veteran behind NHL benches, compared Matthews to Joe Sackick. Crawford said Matthews, who possesses a deadly wrist shot, might be the best puck-handling center he has ever seen. Matthews had a record-setting NHL debut on October 13, 2016, when he scored four goals, becoming the first player in the league's modern era to do so. He led all rookies in goals with 40 and points with 69 in the 2016-2017 season to win the Calder Trophy. He then also helped the Maple Leafs advance to the Stanley Cup playoffs for the second time since 2004. 
Injuries ended up limiting Matthews to 62 games in the 2017-2018 season, but he still finished with 63 points and helped the Maple Leafs return to the playoffs. He followed that with NHL career highs of 37 goals and 73 points in the 2018-2019 season, then joined some elite company by hitting the 30-goal mark for the fourth time in four NHL seasons in the 2019-2020 season, this time doing it in just 45 games. Matthews went on to win the Hart Trophy in the 2021-22 season after finishing second in voting to Connor McDavid of the Edmonton Oilers in the previous season. He joined Patrick Kane as the only US-born player to win the Hart Trophy, and he was the first Maple Leaf player to win it since Ted Kennedy in the 1954-55 season. Austin Matthews also also became the first Toronto player to win the Ted Lindsay Award. Matthews went on to become the first NHL player born in the United States and first since Steven Stamkos to score 60 goals in a single season. Matthews joined Daryl Sittler as the second Maple Leaf player to have four 40-goal seasons when he helped Toronto defeat the Columbus Blue Jackets 5-4 on March 7, 2022. Matthews set a Maple Leaf record when he scored his 55th goal of the season against the Dallas Stars on April 8, 2022, passing Rick Vive, who scored 54 for Toronto in the 81-82 season. The following season, Austin Matthews became the fourth youngest active player to reach 500 NHL points with a goal and an assist in a 6-5 shootout loss to the St. Louis Blues on January 3, 2023. Matthews accomplished this feat in his 445th game, passing Matt Sundin and Rick Vive for fastest to 500 points with the Maple Leafs. On April 10th, Matthews became the first player in Toronto history to score at least 40 goals in four consecutive seasons. 2017, the New Jersey Devils select Nico Heischer. Nico Heischer became the highest drafted Switzerland-born player in NHL history when the Devils selected him number one overall in the 2017 NHL Draft. In his first season in North America with Halifax of the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League, he was named Canadian Hockey League Rookie of the Year and won both the Michael Bossy Trophy as the Best Professional Prospect and Michel Bergeron Trophy as Offensive Rookie of the Year after scoring 86 points in 57 games played. He sure scored his first two NHL goals against the Ottawa Senators on October 19, 2017 and finished with 52 points in 82 games as a rookie. He scored 47 points in 69 games the following season. He sure was named to the NHL All-Star Game for the first time in 2020. He had 36 points in 58 games for New Jersey before the season was paused on March 12th due to COVID-19. Nico Heischer was named the 12th captain in Devils history on February 20, 2021. At 22 years of age, he became the second youngest Devil to hold the position and joined Nashville Predators defenseman Roman Yossi as the second Switzerland-born captain in the NHL. Nico Heischer had NHL career highs of 31 goals, 49 assists, and 80 points in the 2022-23 season. He was nominated for the Selkie Award, given annually to the forward voted best to excel in the defensive aspects of the game. 2018, the Buffalo Sabres select Rasmus Dahlin. There was little question throughout the 2017-2018 season that Rasmus Dahlin would be the top prospect available in the 2018 NHL Draft. His skating, puck handling, vision, hockey intelligence, and shot reminded scouts of fellow Sweden-born defensemen Eric Carlson and Victor Hedman. The Sabres chose Dahlin with the number one pick in the 2018 draft, making him the first Sweden-born player to be selected first overall since Matt Sundin in 1989. Dahlin made the leap straight into the NHL and made his debut October 4, 2018 against the Boston Bruins. He got his first NHL point, which was an assist in a 6-1 loss to the Colorado Avalanche on October 11th. He then got his first goal just two days later in a 3-0 win against the Arizona Coyotes. Although Buffalo would struggle and miss the Stanley Cup playoffs for the 8th straight season, Darlene shined on this team. He had 44 points in 82 games, which was the second most in NHL history for an 18-year-old defenseman. Looking to build off his strong rookie season, Darlene scored in Buffalo's season opening win against the Pittsburgh Penguins and had 7 points in his first 4 games. When that season came to a halt due to COVID-19, Darlene had 40 points in 59 games. Dahlin had 233 points in 355 games through his first five NHL seasons, becoming one of 12 defensemen to get 200 points in the NHL prior to his 23rd birthday. 
He opened the 2022-23 season by becoming the first defenseman in NHL history to score in each of his first four games. Dahlin is the second defenseman in Sabres history to reach 70 points in a single season. That kind of performance earned him an eight-year, $88 million contract, which he signed for the Buffalo Sabres on October 9th, 2023. 2019, the New Jersey Devils select Jack Hughes. The Devils selected Jack Hughes with the number one pick of the 2019 NHL Draft after he led the USA Hockey National Team Development Program under-18 team with 112 points in 50 games played during the 2018-2019 season. Jack Hughes holds records with the National Development Team for assists with 154 and points with 228 in 110 games played over two seasons. He led the 2019 World Under-18 Championship with 20 points for the United States, which ended up finishing the tournament in third place. He set a tournament record with 32 points in 14 games played over two tournaments, passing Alex Ovechkin, who had 31 in 14 games. Jack Hughes played 61 games for the Devils as an 18-year-old and scored 21 points before the 2019-2020 season was paused on March 12th due to COVID-19. Hughes became the first Devils player with 40 goals in a season since Zach Parise scored 45 in the 2008-2009 season. He had 56 points in 49 games played and scored his first NHL hat-trick in a 5-1 victory against the Washington Capitals on November 26, 2022. At 21 years old, Hughes became the 8th youngest player in Devils history to get a hat-trick. It was also the 13th natural hat-trick in franchise history and first since Brian Boyle scored one November 5, 2018. On April 11, 2023, Hughes scored into an empty net to complete a 6-2 win against the Buffalo Sabres for his 97th point, breaking the franchise record of 96 set by Patrick Eliash in the 2000-2001 season. Skating in his Stanley Cup playoffs debut, Game 1 of the 2023 Eastern Conference first round, Hughes became the first player in Devils history to score on a penalty shot in an NHL postseason game. Thanks for watching our videos. Don't forget to hit that like button and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.